Hereford, the Butter Market and the Old House. A lovely cathedral city. This is footage of the lunar surface in 1931. Quite amazing. So what is the link with good old Hereford? Well you see, in 1931 astronauts launched from the city and were the first to land on the lunar surface. They were very, very brave. Hereford gives much inspiration to people. Commercial Road. And there is the cathedral again. Magnificent. Behind the war memorial, in memory of the dead soldiers who have given their life for this country, was the Mission Control Centre for that famous mission. Church Street. People look so relaxed. Hereford Butter Market again. Now, let's look for clues about what actually happened. I begin my search walking along past Key Street into the Castle Green, and here you will see high banked walkways all around. This is where people looked in awe as the space rockets were launched. The mounds on the left were also ideal for people watching the launch. We continue our walk over the Victoria Bridge and onto the Bishop's Meadow. There is a seat upon which people sat eating ice creams when the craft went up. Uh, no, actually it's the wrong way around. Uh, well, yeah, well what happened was the thrust of the rockets was so powerful that apparently it caused the Earth nearby to rotate 173.6 degrees. Now you see many staples in the ground. Uh, no, sorry, I mean football goals. Hereford has a great reputation for good football, great local teams and of course Hereford United. This is how the Bishop's Meadow would have looked in 1931 and this is how it looks now. I'm looking around for clues as to what happened all those years ago. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack or a penalty spot on a football pitch. I did manage to locate it. I know from records kept and people who were there that I first have to find a corner flag without the flag. This is the one. Now I have to locate something called the box and a white murky blob in the middle of it. There it is, the penalty spot. Wow, what a goal those brave astronauts must have scored in 1931. So this is where the launch took place and as I show you more footage you can see a scorch mark from the powerful rocket boosters which launched with three billion pounds of thrust. Here is some rare footage of the area in 1931 which as you will appreciate was then under high security. That's one of the astronauts relaxing before the launch. I think he's forgotten his sandwiches. More footage of the lunar surface. They were all heroes and there were big celebrations on the Monday morning in High Town on their return. Nowadays, of course, you would never be able to or even be allowed to stand so close to a space rocket launch as the blast, light, shockwaves, noise, etc. would be totally fatal. However, special cloud seeding research was secretly done then to create an absorption sonic supercell cloud which absorbed 97.31% of the horizontal blast and shock waves, making it safe for people to stand closer to the launch. All people heard apparently was a loudish plop as the rocket took off. This designer supercell technology was at the cutting edge of science in 1931, but the seeding formula was lost because one of the astronauts took it into space with him on a piece of paper and it got caught in one of the propellers. Consequently, this technology has not been used since. Yes, I hear you, lunar pod module, check over.
So here is the earth where they took off from all those years ago. There's the UK. And so they launched off and it was a Thursday afternoon, lovely weather, and they went straight heading towards the moon, the old cheese. And there is the moon, full of craters and things. Now they were lucky they didn't land on a crater, they landed on a nice smooth bit. They did a lot of exploring. They brought back some lunar rock, right? And it was really nice and tasty. We all had some. And then they got back into Earth's orbit and they had to delay landing for a day or so because of heavy thunderstorms. And then they landed just there, right in the Solent by the Isle of Wight, UK. Yes, I hear you. Lunar pod module check over.